Hi guys, welcome to another beer review mm. and uh, today we're going over to Leviathan Brewing and this is a can of the Cuckoo for Cacao and uh, this is an oatmeal stout brewed with water, malted barley, oats, cacao, hops, yeast and obviously contains gluten, 440ml can, 5.5% ABV, brewed in Sutton Coalfield by the one and the only Chris Hogman, uh, part of uh, some really interesting uh, drinking Facebook groups, uh, and all that all around nice guy. And it's it's nice to see that even with um, the current situation, he's able to get beer out there because you know he's he's worked hard to uh, get to this point with his you know brewery, getting the premises, getting all set up, and the next thing you know, a fucking world pandemic comes along. But it's it's been good to see um, his beers uh, floating around online so of course leviathan is down below and i've had a few things or a couple at least um i think i might have actually reviewed one um on the channel because um just like this beer it was given to me by harry aka blue nose beer reviews aka uh, mr foil aka beer bay and aka danny kane aka um jumped up 20 year old aka a faggot with um a, a headset Depends on who you who you ask though with that one. Not my personal thoughts, opinions, and uh, don't know why I use the F word in a video that's going to be seen by more than two people. Anyway, you know what I mean, and if you know what I'm talking about, you'll know exactly who I am talking about. So of course, going to be using a Harry's uh, Ramsbury glass that he gave me. And uh, yeah, so go check out Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews. And uh, funny enough, we're going to be doing them. Well, they're probably in the middle of a stream. I've just shot a vlog, which like took about 20 to 30 minutes unboxing this and talking about uh, some current affairs. Uh, reviewing this on uh, the evening that I found out that one of my favourite musicians from one of my favourite bands, if not my favourite band ever, the Stranglers, uh, Dave Greenfield, unfortunately passed away um, due to, I'm not sure like what the specifics are, but it is related to the uh, coronavirus. So um, raising a glass to uh, one of the men in black. Everybody loves you when you're dead, of course. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those ones where I don't usually get like, affected by like a celebrity death. Um, even if it's someone who I'm a big fan of, but for the, this one, it's because there's a lot of personal attachment that I have to the Stranglers. They got me through my lowest, or one of the things that got me through the lowest part, you know, in my life. We're not going to get all serious and like down in the dumps. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, Stranglers were like mm -hmm. the band that I was listening to when I was going through um, something that a lot of people go through, but it did hit me hard, and they, you know, they helped pulled me out of their attitude and their craftsmanship and golden brown will forever be for me personally one of if not the greatest song of all time and um dave greenfield's harpsichord on that and his just his music throughout and contribution to the band in terms of songwriting and singing had such presence so um yeah raising this to you sir and uh, yeah, raising this to Chris and also raising it to Harry. And I'm really looking forward to this because it's been a little while since I've had a stout. So beer in the glass then. And uh, the lighting's not great. So this to me is just looking like jet black. Um, it's got like almost like a varnished look to it in this glass. Head dissipated really quickly, but you've got the remnants of a nice beige head. That's what she said. Don't know what that means. So let's see what we get on the nose with this one. Nice sticky chewy malt character. There's a there's a slight hint of cacao in there. It almost reminds me of like drinking chocolate. Subtle vanilla aroma. There's almost a, a subtle coffee like presence in there as well. And some dark berries stewed down. Almost has like a bit of like almost cinnamon all spicy character. Oh, it smells good though. It smells really good. 
It smells like, um, you know, when you've uh, got the milk left over from Cocoa Pops. Which, yeah, it smells very much like that. Mmm, smells really, really nice, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, all. Ooh. Oh yes. First thing, the sweetness you were getting on the nose does not come through. There's like loads of bitter chocolate, freshly ground coffee beans are almost getting there. Like really strong, high quality cacao. So you're getting that like earthy, like almost savoury character from that. Mm. There's a nice woodiness to it. Yeah, it's got like a really, like a charred character to it. Mmm, this is good. Definitely a beer that'll put hair on your massive chest. Roughly a medium mouthfeel. Um, carbonation is just right. It's not too fizzy, but it's not too um, flat. It's not flat anyway, so why would you say it's not too flat? You know what I mean. I can't. I'm not good with words. And I like that a lot. It's really coffee-like. It really, really is. And I think I like that a hell of a lot. I just love that smoky char character that you get on the back end that like lends itself to a really nice bitterness. It's smoky without being harsh, if that makes sense. Yeah, I really like that. That's a lovely little drop. Packing so much flavour for its ABV. But yeah, don't go into this like expecting like a sweet character. It really is like raw ingredients, do you know what I mean? Like taking the cacao bean straight from the ground. It's not ground, is it? Fucking hell. But straight from the source and just eating it. That's what it reminds me of before it's processed and goes through the, the process of becoming, you know, chocolate. And you do get a good, like, 80% chocolate. I realise how fucking dumb I've sounded in this video now. But, uh, hey-ho. Luckily, this beer is absolutely lovely. So, in terms of rating, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I think that's absolutely lovely. Um, and it just shows you you don't have to like jam pack with like milk sugars or vanilla um, in stouts like a lot of people are doing. Definitely get the oats. You get like that like porridgey oatmeal before you've put any sugar in it. And by the way, why, why do people still put salt in the porridge? Why do people do that? <laughs> I don't get it. But yeah, I like that a lot. Beautiful looking can, and the beer's not too bad either. So um, I've got um, another beer uh, from uh, Chris Hosman. Chris, Chris Hosman. Fucking hell, Pete. You've only had half a beer. i uh, got another beer from Leviathan, and this is um, a West Coast IPA. So I'm looking forward to, to cracking that open. And I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing more beers uh, from Leviathan, especially at a time like this. Um, so it's just good to see him having those beers out there and getting uh, a lot of good reviews and seeing them popping up on web shops and uh, Yeah, I hope it Hope it works out well for him. I really really do um, I've never really spoken to him too much. I've like commented on some of his live videos, but from all accounts He just seems like a really decent honest, you know funny guy And I think that's what you need nowadays, do you know what I mean? But yeah, lovely stuff. 
lovely stuff indeed. Very coffee-like. You would actually think that there's coffee in this. It's mental. It's like um, like an espresso bean mix or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like Guatemalan coffee. I love that. Anyway, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Waffling on, as you usually do. Let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Uh, go check out the bife and... Uh, go check out Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Thank you for sending this over to me. I really want to try uh, more beers from Leviathan and Chris. And uh, yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Link to the web shop is going to be included, as well as all the social media links. Go check them out, give them a support. Even if you're not able to buy the beer, promote the brewery, get, get it out there. That's what it's all about, especially at a time like this, is just supporting each other. And um, yeah, let's let's keep this... Uh, beautiful industry afloat as much as we can. Anyway, I'm a rather I'm looking rather top heavy in this beer review, but I don't fucking care. I'm you know sixteen, nearly seventeen stone. What the fuck do you expect? I'm not one of these skinny little dweebs who can fit in like an extra small t-shirt, which is like seems like the optimal uh, size for beer merch. We're not going to get on the the beer merch sizes argument. I can't be asked. I've pissed myself off now talking about that. Anyway, you guys take care. You guys stay safe. And um, I think I've got dark beer all over me. Moustache. And speaking of which, I moustache. Shit joke. Just send the video now.